want to thank Haverhill Federal Savings, um, who are here today. They have been a long time and strong and generous supporter of Ed Foundation. And Linda Rona, the president of the U.S. As a nonprofit, we raise money that we turn around and give out in the grants and, and for speakers and performers that we bring in. We're fortunate that we have a strong um, corporate community in Happer Horsham School District and they've been very supportive. Uh, we get funds from Happer Federal Savings, um, Aris Corporation, Janssen Biotech, First Niagara, Susquehanna Bank, Waste Management, um, Happer Rotary gives us money. We, we're very fortunate that we have a diverse group of funders and a lot of that money comes through a state tax credit. We feel st strong commitment to the students in our community and we're a community-based bank and the reason behind that is, is that we support everything that's going on here at, at the district level. We think that these uh, courses and these, these grants are suggestive of the material of the students, of the faculty and as well as the administration so we're happy to support that and continue to be the largest supporter for the district. Now it's not by accident that the word innovative slipped into the title of our grants program. The program has been designed from the beginning to identify grant applications that are unique, that are thoughtful, that are creative, and reflect a determination and a commitment to the education of the students in our school district. The Ed Foundation, as I said earlier tonight, helps kids dream big. And, and that's a phrase that I love using now because that's really what we're doing. We're giving money to the teachers who are then turning around and implementing innovative programs and projects that excite kids in different ways, that, that reach out to them, whether it's trout in the classroom in the elementary school or state-of-the-art technology in our genetics and microbiology classes or learning about peacemakers in one of the elementary schools. It's all different ways that we're touching kids and making them think, making them dream, and making, and hopefully helping them to excel in the classroom. It's really my pleasure to serve on the HAGF um, board after my short time here in Happer Horsham as, as an administrator. Um, this is a wonderful district, and tonight is just another example of that. So I'm going to just uh, call these out by uh, alphabetical order by title of the grant and uh, list the names of people that are getting the swag. And these are the people who really wrote the grants. So bringing Link Crew to Hapro Horsham, Vanessa, Vanessa DeLuca and Dennis Williams. Come on. The grant pays for us to um, get the advanced training to go out to California to meet with some of the um, greatest innovators in education probably in the world and they share a lot of their trainings and tactics that they've put together over the last 20 years out in uh, you know Southern California so hopefully we get to go out there again this year we'll write a grant see what happens and you know it pays for our travel expenses it pays for the actual training itself which is pretty expensive and then it also you know it, it, it allows us to remain link crew certified we get to come back and implement that great stuff at Happer Horsham. So. As the building principal, one of the most important things is trying to determine programs that are going to help move your organization forward. And for us, the culture and the climate of our building has just, it's been unbelievable with what Link Crew has brought um, to our building. And as a transition, we, I mean, the research is very clear that one of the most difficult transitions for high school kids is from eighth to ninth grade. Um, and we, we've done some things in the past that were pretty good and we've piecemealed some programs together. But literally, this Link Crew program that, that, that Vanessa and Jim are running um, has truly changed the culture of our high school. The next grant is bringing the past into the future. Jim Keyes and Diane heitzenreit Rager. Next grant, Enhancing Literacy um, Centers, Deb Stoppard and Beth Truskevich. Oh, <laughs> the grant uh, that I received with Beth Truskevich is called Enhancing Literacy Centers, and um, we mainly requested 10 iPads to extend what the children are able to do in reading centers. Um, it will enable them to have a huge selection of text at different levels. Um, also, we received um, 
funds for software that can be used on the smart board and all of this will uh, just really further what we're able to do with the children in their separate um, centers. At the high school, genetics and biotechnology, current applications with future implications, Greg Porbon. Uh, genetics and biotechnology and I received money to get some uh, biotechnology equipment for my classroom. Uh, I'll be starting a new genetics and biotechnology course and hopefully incorporating it into current courses uh, like just 10th grade bio, AP bio, environmental science, um, and maybe uh, forensics. So. Hatboro Horsham Robotics. I guess I wonder who that is. <laughs> Healthy Bodies, Healthy Minds, Eric Lamser, Nicole Mulatto, and Tammy Albert. Okay, our grant is called Healthy Bodies, Healthy Minds, and it's a continuation grant from last year. And what the grant funds is equipment for our program that is before school, where students come in an hour before school and they do a morning workout. And also throughout the day, we have students working on uh, exercise equipment and using different types of desks, like sitting on balls and, and raised desks as they're going through their academic day. Hybrid Learning Classroom and Megan Grimes. Instruction through Smarter for formative assessment. Nikki Do uh, Dobos, Kate Ray from uh, Keith Valley. Okay. Increasing fluency and engagement in world language. I think Susan Salembrier is here. <laughs> is increasing fluency and engagement in world languages. Uh, this is our second part of the grant. Two years ago we were um, awarded 15 iPads and all the gear that went along with them, the cart to charge them and all these wires that we need so that we can use them in the classroom. And this past year we wrote an additional grant for 15 more iPads. So now that we have 30, um, the French, Spanish, and German teachers use them for various projects. So far this year, I've used them to take my children traveling through Germany, Switzerland, and Austria. And today, they were able to video their first um, totally German conversation. And they're much better at using the iPads than they are standing in front of the class. They're much less inhibited. They love the technology. And they want to know why we don't use them every day. The next grant, Integrative Assessment in Health and PE, Angela LaFrada. <laughs> iPads for special ed, Amy Ambler. My grant is um, iPads and Special Education. Um, it's used to help engage my students, help them to become owners, take ownership of their learning and to track their progress. So the, what, what the plan is, is to have the kids start to set a goal and then use the different apps and the different technology in the iPad to help them to progress through their skills and to achieve their goals eventually at the end of the, the school year, trimester, whatever they set their goal for. Navigating our way through AP staff, Joel Evans. My grant was uh, a navigating through the AP statistics. Basically it was called navigating our way through AP statistics. And we used the grant money to order a class set of TI Inspire calculators, which is the latest and greatest of the TI calculators. It's more of a handheld computer than anything else. And with that, it came with a navigator system, which is a wireless docking that goes on top of the calculators. So every student in the class would get their own calculator that they can use while they're in my classroom. The navigator allows them to wirelessly connect to my computer, and then I can project things up on my smart board. And so while the kids are working on their computer, I can send them test questions or quiz questions, 
I can see what they're doing on my computer. They can take over the smart board from their calculator and they can project what they're doing. Outdoor ad at the JNC, Rachel Hartman. Our outdoor education grant at the Nature Center um, allows students in grades one through five to come out and grade seven to attend the Nature Center um, one time per year. So every class, every student gets out to the Nature Center. Um, the grant allows us to contract out an employee from Briarbush uh, Nature Center to help us to facilitate the trips. Um, and this is a continuation grant because this is the second full year of implementation of the trips. Um, the first year was a pilot year, so this is actually our third grant that we've gotten to be able to facilitate the trips. Uh, this is Peacemakers, Tammy Wonder Italia. The grant is the Peacemakers program. It's at Crooked Billet Elementary, where I am the school counselor. So it's actually a conflict resolution program for the entire school, kindergarten through fifth grade. And we have student ambassadors who are being trained to be mediators out at recess. And we have a peace path out on the playground that's painted on it, as well as life-size ones that we can use up in the hallways. And all the teachers have a very fabulous staff, because as much as this was a grant I wrote, it really impacts everyone. <laughs> and everyone has been fabulous. School Sculpture Mobile Resiliency, Karen Cantor. Okay, Surface Pro 2 Technology Integration on the go, Val Fazy and Carol Miller. Fish go to school, trout in the classroom. The kids are going to learn a lifelong lesson that nature has a lot to do with what they're doing and where they're at. Uh, provides food for them and the cycle will continue from eggs all the way to when they're hatched as, I mean sorry, when they catch them as fish. And uh, it's pretty amazing what's, what, uh, what's going to end up happening. I also want to just thank everyone again for coming. In particular, I want to thank Curtis and, and the administrators and the principals. We have a yeah. great turnout this year of um, principals and administrators and fellow teachers who came to support the grantees. So thank you all for coming.